That's what us women want to see. Me and my girls, we talked about this. We don't want to see any more heterosexual feminine men. We don't. All right, guys, y'all looking at the thumbnail. You're looking at the title of the video. Y'all already know what time it is. It is time to get active. So active. We will. Guys, I have an interesting video for you here today that I wanted to go over. Let me preface it real quick. One of the major talking points within the space, as well as with on this channel right here, is over the last several decades, there's been an obvious push in our media towards the feminization of men, as well as the masculinization of women, right? And a lot of the talking points that we stand from speak about the negative implications or repercussions of that being pushed without criticism, without critique, without challenge, okay? This video here today offers just a little bit of that. Without further ado. Hey guys, Balance here. What's up, Balance? I just got off a live with um, a real dope rapper and we were talking about, you know, men in dresses and he had me thinking, he literally had me thinking that, yo, if that's what they wanna do, maybe that's just what they wanna do. And I was thinking, <laughs> Yeah, but I don't like it. Talk to him. But I don't like it. And I know we don't have to like everything. And we don't have to agree with everything. We don't all have to think alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. But if these are men, heterosexual men, or men claiming to be heterosexual men, then I want to see them in their heterosexual, masculine, divine energy. I don't uh -oh. want to see them in a dress. I don't want to see them in nail polish. Mm. I don't want to see them in hair color, in different eye color in heels, I, I don't. And again, I'm not speaking to those who live um, alternative lifestyles and that's a part of who they are. That's not who I'm talking to. This is not for you guys. I respect you guys. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not against that. I'm just talking to the guys that are challenging the heterosexual norm. Yeah, why? They want to make it very what fluid. Reason? And I want to, like, why? Yeah. So my thoughts were... On Real quick, before she gets in her thoughts, there was a story not too long ago of like Little Nas X doing something. Guys, and I choose not to cover stories right that, like that because Little Nas X lives an alternative lifestyle, okay? Lives an alternative lifestyle. That's really not what we talk about from a manosphere perspective. We talk about heterosexual relationships. So he's not of concern. But a couple of months ago, I did do a story about Kid Cudi that at least to my knowledge leads a heterosexual lifestyle, but then comes up and then wears dresses. And of course, he's not the only one you see from like Young Thug and I saw like Trippy Red having nail polish on and it just makes me think like how many of you guys are gonna sell your souls to fit a particular trend and or fad. It's unfortunate what people are willing to do and what they're willing to sacrifice in order to make a buck, but can't hate the player, gotta just hate the game. Let's keep going. I'm banging with her energy live i think it's an agenda being pushed and forced on them like a lot of men before them but others had different opinions like what if that was them in their own thinking in their own being and saying now this is just what i want to do and you know what that is a different way to think about it that is a possibility but even if it is a possibility i could state my opinion and say as a divine feminine woman in energy that i don't like it I don't want to see it. I don't respect it. I'm not attracted to it. And I don't want it as an example for my unborn children. Uh-oh. I just don't. And all my girls that I know, they feel the exact same way. And I will say this. I know that social media has an agenda, right? In the sense where they're pushing a certain type of people. Whether those people are choosing to genuinely live this way or they're just being forced into it, that agenda is being pushed and forced on us over and over and over. It's, you know, it's getting beat into our head, it's some type of conditioning and programming like, like public school or something. And mm -hmm. listen, I respect everybody and I think everybody should be them, but I want to see- You can feel the feminine energy masculine, coming off the screen. Heterosexual men represented on social media, on television, in newspapers, everywhere. Commercials, everywhere. 
and I'll say this. Here's the thing. Let me let me also say. Here's what I don't agree with. with the component of what she said. I, there's not, in my opinion, there's not an overarching entity from a social media perspective that's pushing one thing and then not pushing another. I don't think these companies with these social media platforms and you know engineers working on the code and the software are necessarily blocking certain types of content, right? And hiding some, showing some. I don't think it really works that way. What I just think is, is that there's just trends and there's waves. And right now, the wave and the trend is what is represented. And some can say it like started like back in like 2004 when like Kanye started to, you know, rock pink polos and shit like that. And slowly it's kind of drifted from that whole gangster rap era. But it's clear that even during the gangster rap era, they were following the trends. And then one rapper had success and then the others had success and they take it to the next level. The same thing is happening nowadays when these dudes are doing rainbow colors on their fingernails and shit like that. They're trying to take it to the next stage in order for the dollar. So what I'm trying to say it is, is that I don't think it's necessarily fair to use the they or the them programs when talking about they are out here and they're creating this and they're out to get this. No, I just think it's just the people that are creating it far outnumber what you actually want to see. And then other people latch on to that idea and then just create content for whatever that they see is working. Okay, we, we'll, we'll say it like this. Okay, maybe they are, whoever they are, you know, the people in control of the social media platforms, maybe they're not gonna um, push that agenda. Maybe they're not gonna say, hey, we, we wanna promote heterosexual, divine masculine men look at the way she perks maybe they up. don't do it but i know you guys are out there because uh -oh. i've seen you guys so i yeah, know we're here. you're still out there but i want you guys to promote yourself we're I working want, on it just like you don't see many women like me and my divine feminine energy i'm not on here arguing debating cursing twerking naked yeah. you're not going to see any of that for me because it's just not who i am but I'm out here, so I'm putting myself you. out on social media to represent that divine feminine energy. And I want you guys to put yourself out here and represent the divine masculine energy because I know you're still out there, yeah. heterosexual men that yeah. don't wear dresses mm -hmm. and nail polish. And Listen, and shout out to her, right? Because I think that it was so crazy to think that um, uh, those with views like this um, could be in, in, in accords or thinking that they could get shut down for putting out information like this. Because even her saying this might get some irie for some folks that don't agree with her. And it's unfortunate that even from a heterosexual, masculine, divine masculine perspective, there, there's kind of like a, you know, a secrecy even about that. But to her credit, to her point, this is what this space is talking about, is how do we create strong men? How do we build them up to the best versions of themselves to understand themselves and also understand what not to implement within their life? All the toxic, all the bad juju type of women as well. So we can find a divine feminine young lady who actually appreciates us in all of our masculine traits. But shout out to her as well. She actually made me think of something that just as much as we are building up what we got going over here, women that are in alignment within their femininity should be pushed within this sector as well. It might be an idea for like a live stream or something I like that. I can bring them all up here. We can all have a conversation. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comment box down below if you'd be interested in looking at content like that. All right, let's keep it moving. Contacts and hair dyes and heels. I know you are out there. And I want to see you represent it. Even if they won't represent you, can you represent you? Yeah, we absolutely can. You can you come out? Because I want my future sons to see you. I want them to know that it's okay to be who they are. Mm. And I think that's, that's very important. That's very important for us to promote ourselves, right? We, we, don't, we don't need the media to um, tell us our worth. Mm. We are already worthy, just in us being. We're worthy, right? So in knowing that, I want you guys to just display it for us, please. Maybe we need to do like a, a social media tag, divine masculine energy. I like that, divine masculine energy. And represent, come out, represent, you know, come out doing masculine stuff. Come out wearing masculine clothes, uh -oh. saying, speaking in a masculine way, not cursing women out online, 
you know, because that's just not very masculine. It, no, it just is, and I don't care who it is. It's just not. But come out showing how you take care of your sons, how you teach your sons. You know, come out showing us how you dress like a man, how you think like a man, how logical you are. Come out, show out, show off. I'm, I'm happy to see it. I want to see it. I would love to see it. It's, that is attractive. That's what us women want to see. Me and my girls, we talked about this. We don't want to see any more heterosexual feminine men. We don't. You know what's crazy about about this as well is that like as she's speaking and she's talking, um, there's a lot of dudes that are down in the comment section that are melting because <laughs> there's a degree of feminine energy and she speaks so you know highly of dudes and that's just re really like that type of mindset like it is most uh, readily aligned with grabbing up a dude you know like I, I was just out with a young lady last night and just the way that she was talking about men in general I, I was just like oh you just have a bad relationship with men in your life. I can't even communicate to her that her mindset is what's going to keep her inevitably single and hopping from eggplant to eggplant. But I'd argue that the majority of bad comments that you see now into the comment section is often driven from women that don't exhibit divine feminine energy or women just exhibiting um, terrible attitudes or behavior. So but let's keep going. That's what us women want to see. Me and my girls, we talked about this. We don't want to see any more heterosexual feminine men. We don't. We don't. We have enough estrogen in our bodies for the two of us. Okay? We, we don't need you to have extra estrogen. Big true. Okay, no. I need you to come bring that balance and show us who you are. Okay? Show us that very strong masculine energy. And... Yeah. I mean, that's, that's it. how I feel about men in dresses. Like, I, there's not <laughs> really much I can say. Listen, shout out to her, all right? Guys, they do exist. They still out here, all right? They're looking for you and all of your masculinity, okay? They out here. But shout out to Mama. I'm going to leave a, um, a link to her video down in the description box down below so you guys can find her. When you get over there, let her know MTR sent you, okay? But we got we to gotta push these up from time to time, you know what I'm saying? It's not all bad out there. Shout out again to this content creator. I appreciated the positive message, my lady. Okay, fantastic, fantastic thoughts. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. I like that, divine masculine. Maybe we'll start that hashtag, all right? Until next time, YouTube.